my mocha swirls are laced with coffee and chocolate and topped with a sticky espresso icing. Your guests will love them. So I'm going to start off with the filling for my mocha swirls. And the first thing I'm going to do is add a tablespoon of butter. To the melted butter, add two tablespoons of espresso powder and two of cocoa powder, 65 grams of soft brown sugar and 100 grams of finely chopped dark chocolate. I've just mixed that up and I'm just going to pop that to a side. That's done, ready. Now for my dough. Grab a bowl. Have you ever had a cinnamon swirl before? Well, this is like a cinnamon swirl, but without the cinnamon and with the mocha. It's such an easy thing to bake, but it makes you look so accomplished. For the dough, put 450 grams of self-raising flour, two tablespoons of caster sugar, and a pinch of salt into a bowl and give it a quick mix. So that's my dry ingredients onto my wet ingredients. So I've got 100 grams of melted butter, and then to that, I'm gonna add 200 mils of milk, Make sure when you've melted your butter that it's cooled. Add a teaspoon of vanilla bean paste for flavor and two egg yolks. So, and this is why you want to make sure that your butter is cold, because I'm putting egg yolks in here. And I don't want scrambled eggs before I've got mocha swirls. Give everything a good mix around. And then back to my dry ingredients. So I'm going to make a little well in the center and then add all my wet ingredients straight in. This is the kind of thing that I would have for breakfast. You know when somebody comes over to stay, like it beats cereal and toast. It feels like you've really made an effort. Sprinkle a little flour onto the work surface, knead and roll out the dough. Aim for around 30 by 25 centimeters. Even though I like to freestyle occasionally, I think a ruler is an essential kit for anyone who's baking. And it also makes you feel good when you get it bang on. Spread the filling evenly across the dough, making sure to get all the way to the edges. Imagine once that sugar's melted, along with the butter and the cocoa and the coffee and the chocolate. I know you can taste it in your mouth. I want to make sure that those swirls are lovely and tight, so when I cut into them, you see that gorgeous swirl. Like, imagine you had people over to stay. You could, they could be in bed, and you could have this in and out of the oven within, what, 45 minutes? Cut the dough into nine equal pieces. So if you just push it with the chubby part of your hand like that, and then all the kind of dough and the coffee and the sugar and the chocolate all kind of stick together. Place them into a greased cake tin. They look like they're not going to fit, but they will. Brush with milk and pop into an oven at 180 degrees for 30 to 35 minutes. So these have been out of the oven for about 10 minutes, and look at them, you can still see the swirls, but where they've baked, they've gone lovely and golden. So these aren't finished yet. What they need is a sticky, sweet icing. For the icing, mix together two tablespoons of boiling water and two of espresso powder. Give that a little mix. Next, add a tablespoon of butter and two tablespoons of cream cheese. Mix until you have a thick, coffee-flavoured icing. And now to that, I'm going to add 125 grams of icing sugar. Oh, straight in. So you want to mix that till you've got a lovely, smooth, glossy coffee icing. Oh, my God, I could drink that. <laughs> I'm not going to, though. So now, to put my icing on top of my swirls. Cover it enough so you've got little bits of that icing kind of running through all the swirls. And that is done. There's no being polite here. You have to get your fingers straight in and then tear it straight out. I've got coffee and breakfast all in one. Serve this for breakfast and they're definitely staying for lunch.